Hey, I'm going to show you how I use the Beacon Market Analyzer to buy stocks. It's also known as the BTMA Stock Analyzer. So first, I just hit Analyze Stocks. And then if you don't know the company name, you could type in the company name here. Or you could just click on the indexes if you want to analyze the Dow 30. You would just hit this button to analyze the Dow 30. And then it will analyze all the stocks for the Dow 30. And then they'll show up down at the bottom, all analyzed. And so it has Nike at the top. Nike is a good company at a bargain price. It's recommended buy. These ones are good companies, but uh, the price is too high. And then you can also set a margin of safety. So, for example, if we analyze the S&P 500, Then it will analyze all those stocks, and it will tell you which ones are the best buys at the top. They're in green. It tells you what price you should buy at. And then these ones are possible buys, also good to buy. And then as you go down, the stocks just get uh, riskier as you keep going. As you can see, it's. Uh, Pretty fast, it'll analyze 500 stocks in, in just a few seconds. Then, if we add the margin of safety, basically, the more the higher you go up on the margin of safety, then you're being more conservative. But the uh, drawback of that is that you'll limit your opportunities. You see how it went down to only three recommended stocks now when you add a 15% margin of safety. Uh, the other thing you could do is uh, you could just have your own uh, list of tickers you want to search. Uh, you can get those anywhere you want. Uh, you can use the 52-week low tickers or any index. And you retrieve those. And I'm, I have it already set at a 15% margin of safety. Go down and you can see which ones you like. Um, out of these, uh, I actually like Carter's, and I know of this company. They sell baby clothes, children's clothes. And um, you can go through and look at the information for the company. So they give you the company rating out of 100. 70 points and plus is a good company to buy. This one's at 82, so a very good company to buy. It breaks the company rating down and tells you the scores. If you want more detailed information on any of these, just click the stock ticker. And it will break down each category and the score. And if you want to figure out how these are calculated, then you can just click on the question marks that give you more information about that. Then you can check out uh, stock value as well. This gives you intrinsic values, and not just one intrinsic value. Um, you have one here, but it's actually broken down into various intrinsic values. So it gives you price earnings model, residual income, discounted cash flow. And then it gives you different situations. If the uh, growth was similar as the past five years, the analysts forecast the next five years uh, forecasted growth. If it was at 10% growth rate, 3% uh, like inflation rate, or at 0% growth rate. And yeah, it breaks these down into each one. And then it gives you your average here. And then when you go back, it removes outliers and normalizes the information to give you one intrinsic value here and an estimated value of the stock. You also use a Buffett valuation comparison method. This gives you the, expect, the expected annual compounding rate of return. So you can see that Carter's is at around 12%. So that would be a good return. Gives you pricing information. So you can see 52 week highs and lows in the midpoint. So at 95 is the midpoint, 
and right now it's out around 79 something. So you can see that it's it's pretty low compared to the midpoint. It's only about 0.75% uh, away from the 52 week low. So this might be a great time to buy this company. Look at the fundamentals here. And uh, you can see here that less than one could be good. It's at 0.75 for the debt equity, the P ratio under 16, and this one is very close to 16. And then the current ratio greater than one, and this is greater than one. It also has a dividend, which is market cap. And you can go through all of these. If there are any problems here, then it'll be marked in red. You can see Carter's doesn't have any problems according to that. And then you can also check the complete view here. So this just gives you all the information and you can just scroll over, just check everything with the 10 years of EPS, the valuation models, the pricing, the fundamentals, just everything all together. And you can also export that and sort it any way that you like. It'll sort right into Excel just by clicking that. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah, I like Carter's, and I think I'll go buy that. Uh, so here's the recommended price, uh, 79.80 right now, and I'm just gonna go. The actual price is actually still changing right now. Um, just go check out. So the current price just went down. It's at 79.74. I'll go to my Scott Trade account and go to make a trade here. Okay, I want to buy Carter's, which is CRI. And I almost always use limit orders. And I'm going to set it until date. Now, my price, uh, as I said, it's at around 79.74. The analyzer recommended that. At 79.80, it's a good price right now. Um, but I'm just going to look at what it's been doing and how the movement of the stock has been. So let's look at the two years. You can see the days range here between 79.68 and 81.74, the 52 week range 79 to 112. And then here's the two year movement. You can see it's pretty much at the lowest point in two years. So we're probably at a good uh, bargain price right now with this. And as I look at the one month and five day, uh, I could see that the movement is maybe between like 50 cents and, and $1. It will go up and down uh, each day. Uh, so I'm going to go down to the opening price was 79.80. I'm going to put in a price at around 79.60, uh, which I think it's it's possible to get that. Uh, if not today, then sometime this week. So I'm going to put for 79.60, and uh, in this account, I have 13,000 available for trading. So I'm going to trade 10,000 divided by the 79.60 and about 125 shares. So I put in 125 shares. Review my order. Yep, that's correct. And it's been confirmed. So then I'll just wait now and just see. 
if it goes through and then if it goes through then I'll probably set a limit order again to sell at whatever my desired return is and that way I don't have to watch the market or anything like that I just let it sell whenever it's ready to sell whether that's 5% or 10% or whatever I decide okay it is now the next day I just wanted to give you a little update on what happened with Carter's CRI uh, right now through Yahoo I'll just update the page uh, you could see that it's at 79.20 I had originally set my limit order for 79.60 okay just dropped down to 79.09 so it went below my buy price my limit order price and therefore my trade was executed I bought uh, Carter's CRI this is my Scott trade account and you can see here I bought CRI uh, 125 shares and this was my order price 79.60 and there's the dates and then uh, I immediately set a limit order after I bought it to sell it and I set it at around 5% gain I wanted to get on this stock so I set it for 83.58 and now I'll just simply leave it go I don't have to watch the market or anything and just wait till my limit order executes and for CRI's stock price to cross over this 83.58 for it to sell so I'll update you whenever that happens okay I'm back three days later it's now February 10th um, you can see that CRI Carter's is now 83.88. Let me just refresh the page here. Yeah, it looks like it's still around 83.88. Uh, if I go over here, you could see that I originally bought CRI 125 shares at 79.60. Um, the trade date was. February 7th and then here on February 10th I uh, sold it's just split up into the different it was partially sold on these so it adds up to the 125 shares it was sold at 83.58 which ends up being a 5% gain uh, I've done this same thing uh, with four other companies in the past week and a half and um, it, it works so it's just a way to show you that you can use this beat the market analyzer to quickly find a handful of good stocks at a bargain price and you're really at an advantage because when other uh, investors are just analyzing stock by stock you could basically just put in the whole S&P 500 or Russell 3000 or for that matter, you could put in the whole 6,000, 7,000 stocks in the U.S. stock market and quickly analyze them within a few seconds. And you'll have, you know, a few of the recommended and possible buys at the top. And you don't have to waste your time with the other risky stocks. And then you could just rinse and repeat this cycle of buying and selling. I usually am able to buy and then sell within about a month and a half getting a 2.5% to 5% gain and then I just rinse and repeat that process and it ends up compounding my profits uh, very nicely so I find the same thing with my customers that use the beat the market analyzer so give it a try and see how you like it and let me know I'm always glad to hear feedback good or bad from my customers and I hope you enjoyed this little review about how to use the beat the market analyzer I'm Grant Gelati. Have a nice day.